The Pacific Ocean, a vast and mysterious realm, is facing a troubling phenomenon. Whales, majestic creatures of the deep, are washing up dead on its shores in alarming numbers. From the rugged coastlines of California to the remote beaches of Alaska, these tragic events have left scientists and the public deeply concerned. The sheer scale of these strandings is unprecedented, raising urgent questions about the health of our oceans and the impact of human activities. These gentle giants, once symbols of the ocean's boundless life, now lie lifeless on the sand, serving as stark reminders of the delicate balance of nature. Each stranding is a somber event, a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. As scientists race to understand the cause of these deaths, the world watches with bated breath, hoping for answers and a glimmer of hope for these magnificent creatures. The sight of a whale, a creature of such immense size and grace, lying dead on the shore, is a heartbreaking spectacle. It is a stark reminder of the fragility of life, even for the largest creatures on Earth. The death of each whale is a loss for the entire ecosystem, as these animals play vital roles in maintaining the health of our oceans. Scientists are working tirelessly to unravel the mystery behind these whale deaths. Numerous theories have been proposed, each offering a possible explanation for this alarming trend. Some experts point to natural causes, such as harmful algal blooms, which release toxins into the water, poisoning marine life. Others suggest that disease outbreaks exacerbated by changing ocean conditions may be a contributing factor. Climate change, a growing threat to ecosystems worldwide, is also under scrutiny. As ocean temperatures rise and currents shift, the distribution and abundance of prey species are affected. Whales, reliant on a consistent food supply, may be struggling to adapt to these changes, leading to starvation and weakened immune systems, making them more susceptible to disease. Another theory suggests that human activities, particularly shipping traffic, may be playing a role in these deaths. Whales, often feeding near the surface, are at risk of being struck by large vessels. These collisions, sometimes fatal, can cause severe injuries, leading to internal bleeding and death. The noise pollution generated by ships can also interfere with whale communication and navigation, potentially disorienting them and increasing their risk of stranding. The increase in whale strandings is a complex issue with no easy answers. It is likely a combination of factors, both natural and human-induced, that are contributing to this alarming trend. The oceans are facing unprecedented pressures from climate change, pollution, and overfishing. These stressors are disrupting marine ecosystems, making it more challenging for whales and other marine creatures to thrive. Understanding the interplay of these factors is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies. Scientists are using a variety of methods to investigate these deaths, including necropsies, which provide valuable insights into the whale's health and cause of death. By analyzing tissue samples, researchers can detect the presence of toxins, diseases, or signs of starvation. Furthermore, tracking the movements of whales through satellite tagging is helping scientists understand their migratory patterns, feeding habits, and how they are being impacted by human activities. This information is crucial for identifying critical habitats, implementing protective measures, and mitigating the risks posed by shipping lanes and fishing gear. One of the most controversial theories surrounding whale strandings is the use of sonar by the military. Sonar, which uses sound waves to detect objects underwater, has been linked to whale strandings in the past. Whales, relying heavily on sound for communication and navigation, are highly sensitive to noise pollution. The intense sound pulses emitted by sonar can disorient whales, causing them to surface too quickly and suffer from decompression sickness similar to the bends experienced by divers. While the debate over the impact of sonar on whales continues, some countries have implemented regulations to limit its use in areas frequented by marine mammals. However, more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of sonar on whale populations and to develop mitigation strategies that balance the needs of national security with the protection of marine life. The increasing frequency of whale stranding serves as a stark reminder of our collective responsibility to protect these magnificent creatures and their ocean home. The oceans are not just a vast expanse of water, they are teeming with life, interconnected in ways we are only beginning to understand. 
The fate of Wales is inextricably linked to our own, and their plight is a call to action for a more sustainable future. Addressing the issue of whale strandings requires a multifaceted approach. International cooperation is crucial for implementing effective conservation measures. Sharing data, research findings, and best practices can help countries develop coordinated strategies for protecting whales and their habitats, reducing pollution, mitigating climate change, and promoting sustainable fishing practices are all essential steps toward ensuring the health of our oceans. Public awareness is also vital. Educating people about the importance of whales, the threats they face, and the role they play in maintaining healthy oceans can foster a sense of stewardship and encourage responsible behavior. Supporting organizations involved in whale research, conservation, and rescue efforts is another way to make a difference. By working together, we can strive to create a future where whales and humans can coexist harmoniously on a healthy planet. The challenges are significant, but the stakes are too high to ignore. The time for action is now, before these gentle giants disappear from our oceans forever. The future of whales hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will determine whether these magnificent creatures continue to grace our oceans or fade into memory. The recent spate of whale strandings is a sobering reminder of the fragility of life and the interconnectedness of all living things. It is a call to action, a plea to protect not just whales, but the entire marine ecosystem on which they depend and on which we ultimately depend as well. By addressing the root causes of these strandings from climate change to pollution to ship strikes, we can create a brighter future for whales and for all life on Earth. Let us hope that future generations will have the privilege of witnessing these awe-inspiring creatures in their natural habitat a testament to the resilience of life and the power of collective action. The time to act is now before it is too late.